What's going on guys, it's Bear, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial, and it's been a couple days since I've uploaded, since my 1k video, and I've been spending a couple days with my girlfriend, and I've been just like, doing me, making custom logos, been like, moving my room around, doing stuff like for me, and um, I think it's time to make a tutorial, and it's uh, Valentine's Day today, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there that's watching this video. But uh, this is going to be a basic tutorial. I was going through my tutorial suggestion form and I saw someone ask, or a couple people ask, how to make isometric uh, kind of materials. So uh, I'm going to just show you guys how to make that. So what we're going to do is open up my Lightroom. If you guys don't have it, there will be a link in the description. Also, you can buy it on my cell phone if you guys just want to pay for a dollar for it. I need all the money counts. But um, yeah. So you just open this Lightroom and I'm just going to put a cube down. this white just so I have something to work on yeah that's fine now let's make another cube all right so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a uh, kind of isometric materials so I'm gonna put my this the standard there we go now it's this normal is yours so what you guys want to do to make a material so let's just say that I want to delete all of these that I already have except for the one I'm using right now what I basically do is just click right here in the material thing and this little mat comes up and it's just like a plain gray one. What you do is just click it, double click it, and then you would click the color and let's just say you want to make it red, you drag it up to the red and uh, I like to add a reflection on it but I like to drag it down to about probably like 20s ish and then you guys can add a luminance to it but you guys have to bring that down as well like about 10. And uh, you can add a glow as well, and we got to bring that down too, so you can bring outer strength back down to like 50, and then inner strength probably to 52. So you just have like a light, like a pretty much a really nice glossy uh, thing. So that's how I make those kind of materials. There's also other ones like, say we want to make water, I would just make a new material, go to color, put it to a blue, like a nice cyan blue color. Go to transparency, and I put that up to about 50 something. Put the reflection on as well, about 50 as well. You can go to glow and uh, inner strength down to 50, and that's the other one down to 50. And then you can just add it on. So if I delete that red one, that will go away. It would be a uh, kind of like a block of water. It would be see-through. And uh, you guys can see that the outer edge is right here. And, oops, that glow is too bright. So I'm gonna just take the glow off. So I'm gonna try to re-render that, show you guys. So you guys can see it's see-through right here. See if it does that one weird thing again. Nice, no, see you guys, can, you can see through it pretty fine. So that's just like water and just red colors. I will show you guys how to make the grass and the brown and everything else like that. So I'll just delete that. So you just make a new material, and then you're gonna go to color, and then you're just gonna go to like an orange, and just bring it down to about brown. I don't know, what good brown is probably around here for dirt. So just like this, that's too dark. That might be too light, but you pretty much just add the color, you change it, and with the Lightroom I'm using, it just enhances everything well so I guess obviously you can see that this Lightroom makes the brown look a lot better if I would go into a new Lightroom with nothing on it let's just say I make the, one of the same browns like that and I'll make a cube and add it on it's gonna be a total different color obviously that's a lot darker lighter than mine so just fucking make it a little darker so compared to this, compared to this, is a huge difference in uh, excuse me, in like color-wise, and it just looks a lot better. You can also do green. So if you just double-click, and you pretty much just go to the green, and you can make any kind of shade of green. So let's just say I make a block of grass. Sorry for that. I hit a tin can. Let's shrink that. I'll bring it down and make everything one. You just add the grass on top, and then render that, and then you have like a block of grass. Obviously, this Lightroom is really nice. So let's see if I can just control this and bring it to a 
of regular Lightroom. I'll just rotate this so you guys can see. Obviously, it's not as nice looking as if I would do it. The one in the regular Lightroom kind of looks like boring and weird, and this one actually has really nice stuff to it. So, you guys can actually put stuff in it. You guys can just like bring it down here. I'm pretty sure it leaves like a little, yeah, a little shadow on the blocks. So, I can just put that over here. And so, I'll make cubes like this. add that there so if you guys want an isometric uh, material pack please let me know I could do that for you guys so got water got grass you guys can do anything you really want uh, you have a really nice red color so it's basically all the same thing except for uh, you just change the color it's really easy to do it might be a little time consuming but uh just have to change the colors over and over again and making new materials but obviously you guys can see a great outcome and stuff this kind of looks like ice actually but really nice outcome and uh let's just say that um how should i put this you want to put like so you want this square just take this use a demonstration make it bigger you want to take this square and put another one inside of it. So I have no materials on these. You just pretty much delete these. Just make a new material as I did. And you're going to go change the color to, let's just say you want to change it to a nice baby blue. Go to transparency and bring this pretty much oops, all the way up to about like 90 or 8, 88. And put the reflection to about 60 and put that on the first one, which is not the inside one. And then you can add a, let's just say a green on the inside one. And it will create like an ice around something. So you guys can use this to your power. You guys can put like a mammoth or something in here, like it's an ice, but obviously the color would have to be different and you guys would have to mess with that. But this is how you do pretty much isometric materials, really easy, obviously it took seven minutes. I tried to go on with the guys so we wouldn't be bored. But uh, just basic materials here. If you guys want me to do a material pack of isometric stuff, please let me know. I will definitely do that. If you guys need this Lightroom, please download it in the description below. Or you guys can go on my cell phone and purchase it for a dollar. Either or, you guys can have it. So, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day like I did. And I'm pretty sure this you guys will benefit off of this. I hope that the people that, like suggested this well i'll enjoy it as much as i like enjoyed making it sorry for not having a lot of uploads and um i'm probably going to be doing a custom logo tutorial very soon so yeah if you guys are interested in buying a custom logo please add me on skype or tweet at me and let me know but uh other than that that's about it so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this my contest will be coming out probably at 1250 or 1500 subscribers and there'll be money prizes and everything else like that so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this if you have any questions or comments or concerns please let me know other than that just uh see you in my next video peace out